Welcome, thank you for joining me today. This video is also going on YouTube, of course, so if you're joining us from YouTube, thank you. Please subscribe, hit the like button, and we hope to see you back soon. The great thing about videos, if you're in a hurry, feel free to use the slider and just jump ahead. I won't know, and it won't hurt my feelings any. This is probably one of the more uh, frequently failed components. I don't want to say that it fails all the time or that it's prone to failure because that's not true, but it is one of the more commonly failed components. And when it fails to indicate rich voltage, uh, the symptom is excessively rich or black exhaust. Uh, the engine sometimes won't reach high speed. It'll have low power. Um, it's basically drowning on fuel. It may take 30 minutes or more for that fault to occur. It may take an hour of mowing for that fault to occur. So that can make it difficult to troubleshoot. Talking to the operator and getting a good description of the problem is always helpful, very helpful in this case as well. When this failure does occur, it usually doesn't set any fault codes. Now, if it runs bad long enough, it may set a 0171, but usually it's just in an unusable condition at this point when the problem occurs and somebody doesn't let it run that long that poorly for it to set fault codes. The best test is really going to be observing oxygen sensor voltage using the color diagnostic software and live data, preferably while the problem is present. Um, because again, if it's an intermittent problem and you don't catch it in the act, the oxygen sensor might work perfectly fine. A good way to test the oxygen sensor is to engage load. You know, so if it's a lawnmower, uh, engage the PTO and make sure that rich voltage is occurring. If we want to test it on the lean end of the scale, the easiest way to do that is to simply shut off the fuel supply, run the engine out of fuel. It'll take a while. Sometimes they struggle for a long time. The one that I have videoed here takes almost two minutes before it runs out of fuel, but when it does, you can see that the voltage does truly go lean. and we know that the oxygen sensor is functioning currently. So good, simple test. Don't take long to do. Again, catching it in the act is very helpful.